What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. The Boomberry is now available in the shop. Uh, it costs 225 sun. It is a lobbed type of plant apparently. It's an armament plant. Launches explosive berries at the last zombie in its lane, stunning them for a short period of time. I think that's what it says. It's cut off here. How to make the best explosions? First fuel. Mix in a spark and an oxidizing agent. Finally, you'll need me. All right, Boomberry. Let's see how you work. See how you compare to some other uh, armament style plants. Let's go into adventure mode really quick. And, uh, well, you know, not really quick, but we'll, we'll go in, showcase it across different scenarios and kind of see how it works. And uh, let's drop into, say, Ancient Egypt first off. Then, we'll, of course, I get to the piracy stage that I love. And um, we'll see if it can hold up. But probably, I'm gonna. It's gonna be interesting because it's gonna focus on the cannons, and then the imps are gonna probably over overwhelm it. Is what I think is gonna happen. But let's just get a good solid feel for it in one of the more difficult ancient Egypt stages, and see how it does there. Um, Boomberry, pretty cool name, pretty straightforward name. You kind of know what it does. Um, so the, so the fire shouldn't be an issue for it at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and imitate it too because I just want to be able to put as many out as I can. Again, it's only level one. I wish that I had it up a little bit higher. But there we go. And then um, let's go ahead, bring in some sun production as well just so that we can... I mean, it's going to require a lot of sun, honestly, because it's an expensive plant. Um, but I want to primarily bring it in. Uh, and see what we can do with it really quick. Where Where is the gold bloom? There it is. No fears. And then, um, hmm. Maybe as a backup, I'll just bring in some, uh, repeaters or something. I don't know. I don't know. And, oh, and power lilies, just in case. And what the heck. Cherry bomb. Um... So we know we've seen how the melons work. The melons target the, the what's what's unique about the boomberry is that it targets the back zombie. That's that's what's interesting. So if you're tired of always targeting just the zombie in the front, you're gonna you're gonna love this one, I think. So let's see. Let's drop that in. There you go. Boom. <laughs> I said boom. All right, two of them. Uh, let's put them here. Do they attack graves? I, I assume they might. They may not. Oh, so they attack across across lanes, I guess. Well, maybe I can't tell. Maybe not. I thought I thought I saw it for a second, but so they, there is a splash damage. The only reason they're shooting right now is because of the uh, graves, I believe, and they're attacking the grave furthest back, which is interesting. So now, yeah, now that they're attacking, okay. I did not mean to put a flower there, by the way. I don't know what the heck happened. All right, so at least at least instead of the grave in the back, the middle one's attacking the zombie. But now that the one swooped in, he's gonna probably attack the zombie in the back. Yeah, so this is really tricky. This is really tricky because you're gonna want them to... Here, I'm just gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna put two on this row. It's really tricky because uh, what situation, I mean, other than actually stages with cannons and stuff might be the exception. Like, like you might, let's do a, let's do a special food. Here we go. Special plant food. Boom. Attacked them all in the back. Wow. Okay, here. Boom. This is so, this is so tough. I'm going to get overwhelmed for sure. Uh, here. Put that in. Boom. Put that in. Boom. Yeah, so, hmm, I'm trying to think of a situation where this would be, like, truly unique, truly useful, you know? There's only one there. Whatever, here. Boom. All right, so right now we're targeting just these zombies. I think the fact that it only attacks the back one, to me, is like a handicap. I'd rather attack the front one, like, almost at all times, I think. And if I wanted to attack the back one, I would just use a piercing plant, but... So this plant would have to be exceptionally good at damage, and I'm not going to really know compared to my other plants until this is leveled up uh, relative to our other plants. Because most of my other plants are like, you know, in the 7, 8, 9, 10 range. So the fact that uh, this is only a level 1 makes it a really hard comparison right now. And so... But I assume that once it gets more and more powerful, we're going to see... Uh, it really take out the back zombies like really effectively and then and then we'll be in a situation where it would be a lot more useful once it's leveled up that's kind of the hard part about this game is that 
trying to showcase stuff is I almost need like an account that only has level one plants <laughs> or something like that just to like kind of showcase how it compares. I don't know if that would work because then I'd have to buy them twice. <laughs> so, so you know how it goes. Uh, the pirate seed stage though, I really want to showcase because if we take it in there, we'll see, I think we'll see quickly that these imps are going to just overwhelm these plants. They're going to focus on the cannons. Maybe they'll take out the cannons before the imps can launch. I doubt it at level one, you know, probably at higher levels they can. And so it's level, shoot, is it 22 that I do? I think maybe it's another whole set back. I don't know. If it's not this one, yeah, this is one. So, what I love about this stage is that it's just these guys. It's just a lot of them, and I'm pretty sure that um, I'm gonna guess this is not gonna work. So I'm gonna bring this in along with just some random others. Let's rock, and all we're gonna plant are these boom berries. I like the color of the boomberries, by the way. Very nice. I haven't seen a boomberry in real life, so I don't know if this is accurate. Whoops. Dang. All right. Let's rock. If they were a little cheaper. So let's see. Will they take out the bat cannons quickly? Go. Shoot him. He's there. Shoot him. Shoot him. So slow. All right, that cannon's gone. So actually, I mean, it did try to launch the, it did try to launch the end, but they, yeah. So they're gonna all attack the cannon. So the front line, and it, since it has an explosive uh, damage, so, but they're, they're gonna get overwhelmed. There's, there's no way this could be a solo plant. They really have to have some sort of protection to shoot the, to shoot the incoming zombies. Cause you see, they're just only attacking the cannons in the back, which is good. Yeah, wow. All right, just out of just out of curiosity's sake. I mean, every time I showcase it, you know, a plant, I like to just go with that plant, but this is clearly a plant that cannot last on its own. Uh, so let's just go ahead for for just just out of interest of seeing if we can still survive. Like let's just bring in like a single pea shooter and those and see how they do. The problem is, of course, is that my, you know, my pea shooter is level 19, so it's probably going to be able to shred on its own. I really wish there was a way I could dial it back, just so I could kind of show you guys, okay, well, with a little bit of protection, it's like this, and you know what I mean, but, oh well. So I'm just going to do this. Let's rock. We're going to have two of these, two columns of the, of the boom berries, one column of the pea shooter. And this is like the weakest plant that I have, so I, I feel like just the one column of pea shooters would be able to do it on, on its own is the problem. So So we're taking care of the things in the back. The cannon, you know, there is a splash damage on these boom berries. Which is good. So really you would only bring in the boom berries. along with something else. And see, that's working, but I do wonder if just the pea shooters would work as well. <laughs> just the one column of pea shooters. We could test that. We could see how good is just a column of pea shooters, because it might be close. As you can tell, when paired with other plants, the boomberry does really well. Um, it needs some sort of protection. Especially it says it's attacking the back lines. I guess this is the first time we have a plant that only attacks the the back lines. I don't know what we're waiting on to end this. Uh, to end this. There you go. And the plant food on it makes it attack everything, like all lanes. Not everything, just all lanes, but still the back. All right. So let's. Uh, yeah, we're getting some. There you go. So you know, what other instances might this be really useful? You know, maybe this would be super useful on something along the lines of, uh, let me think really quick. Maybe this would be useful on, I wanna say, I wanna say Big Wave Beach. 
but we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll uh, we'll take it to a big way beach stage. I know, shutter. Like, like oh, big way beach. Um, I'm trying to think of, of stages where there are things in the back. Dark Ages has things. Let's do Dark Ages and Big Way Beach. And then I'll be pretty satisfied with it, I think, uh, as, as a decent showcase. Because those are, those are two worlds that frequently have zombies in the back. Um, so let's... Uh, stage 16 of Dark Ages. It's going to have all the, a lot of those Kingmaker zombies in the back. So let's see here. And those gestures. So, uh, what kind of things will we bring in typically? Like, and the issue is that all my plants are super powered. I wish you could just click on it and say like, and just like low, drag to like lower the level or something. I don't know. Some sort of interface to like lower them. So like, I'm not just wiping out the zombies during the showcase. Um, but sure, Boomberry. Be really useful for things in the back. But what else do I want to bring in? Is there anything new that like would be really, you know, I could bring in, uh, how about Boomberry and Head Butter Lettuce? If anything gets too close, then yeah, we'll take them out. And that's probably all I'll bring in. I'll bring in like uh, that and maybe some of the, of the mushroom suns, the sun shrooms. Um, and then, yeah, maybe if anything just gets too close, finally, boom. Not boom, but like Head Butter Lettuce will get them is what I'm saying. So let's try this. I'll also bring in the Gold Bloom. And maybe I'll imitate the boomberry so we can get it out soon. So the gold blooms up here. And then the boomberry all the way down to the bottom. Imitated all the way at the top. <laughs> I have a lot of plants, as you can see. And then just something random, just in case we need anything else. So we're going to do like two columns of that. One column of uh, like a sun. And then, yeah, I'll put that there. Start growing. Oh, I'm out. Okay, it's okay. There we go. And then eventually those Kingmaker zombies are going to be out here. And we're going to want to do something about them. So, put them in the back. I, this is a plant that I'm going to really want to level up and see how it can do at higher levels. Because this might be a plant that you would really want to bring into an arena in certain cases. So now he's attacking the zombie in the back. But the zombie in the front, boom, dead one hits. So look, look, the Kingmaker, he's gonna be attacking the Kingmaker, no matter how many pawns he makes. And there we go. How many, no matter how many pawns, the Kingmaker's always gonna get attacked. With the splash damage too, so. I'm gonna use it on that and get more sun. So now we have two of them. Like I said, if anything gets up here, I will admit that it seems like it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. But these wizards are going down pretty quick too because they're in the back. The splash damage really helps these. This is gonna be a really strong plan once I level it up. Uh-oh, we got, so hold on, we got, yeah, we attacked. So this is great because instead of waiting for the wizard to walk all, all the way to the front or even further into the middle, we're attacking the wizards right off the bat because they're coming out here. And so the, that means this is a perfect showcase of this type of plant because we're getting the wizards out of here before they become a big issue. We're also attacking the gestures. This also stuns them, it seems. I'm learning now that it stuns them a little bit. I think that's what it, that's what it looked like to me. Yeah, it stuns them too. This would be great for any sort of arena or, or, or Penny's Pursuit challenge that has stun as well. Because it stuns them. All right, great. This is great. And yeah, it's attacking him and it does a significant amount of damage just for level one. But then when paired with something up close, you know, it doesn't stand a chance. So I want to try the same thing, the same exact concept. With the, Now the problem with this is that if they get covered by Octopus, then that's going to be a big issue. It's going to be a really big issue if they get covered by Octopus because then they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to help each other. And so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that situation. I guess you would put maybe uh, something else with them like electricity or something. 
just to attack the octopuses that swarm them. So I would probably put in a layer of electricity in the back. This is one of the first showcases that I've done in recent memory where I really had to pair it with other plants just to showcase it. And it's not, it's not that often that a plant can't really hold up on its own, but this is definitely the case. Uh, I don't think this plant can hold up on its own. You're gonna really need to figure out how to work with it at each stage, each situation like I'm doing right now, uh, where it's like, okay, well, sure, this, this is gonna work great against the fisherman zombies in the back, against any incoming you know, octopus zombies, but uh, what happens if they get covered with octopus? What happens if those one guys swim up on you? Don't lose more than five plants. I'll try not to. It's gonna be a tough call. Uh, so I'm gonna bring in similar things here, uh, except I'm gonna bring in electricity. I think electricity would be better uh, because it'll cover more lanes. And then um, don't lose plants. That means I can't bring in this stuff, which is which is a little annoying. I, I won't bring in that, I won't bring in that. I will bring in an infinite, and I also bring in, um, I just can't use anything where I lose, you know what I mean? So infinite, which is up here. I will bring in lily pads, um, armament. Um, let's see. Any other thing? I don't want to use the mint because then I'll lose. I'll just bring this in just in case. I don't know. I don't know. Let's rock with this. I hope that this is sufficient. So let's see. I'm only going to try like I think one column, but electricity is going to go in the back here. I forgot to put out the uh, uh, the mushrooms. Give me a, give me a sun so I can put out the mushrooms. There we go. This is going to be a slow build, honestly, too, so I have to really rely on it. On the, uh, We're going to have to really rely on other things. We're going to really want probably our electricity out here before we even really do much else. Infinite, once we get a plant food, we will definitely make use of that. And see, the, just by itself, the electricity does wonders because it's so high level. But we're gonna, we're definitely gonna want to branch out, build something a lot stronger with the boom berries. All right, so, but like I said, this should, this should be, this is just this one column of, of. Electric Beach Shooters is very sufficient. Put that up. We're gonna get some boom berries out here really quick. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put one there and one down there. See, they're already, one of them's already dead. They're already dead. That's, this is just the problem with, with really strong plants is that, well, okay. Look forward, you know, be sure to subscribe because I'm sure this is gonna be really useful in arena um, in certain occasions and I'll definitely be showcasing it then. Now that we have the the boom berries out mostly, look look that that was a good strike thing right there. Boom! Oh, you missed. The Did he miss him because he's moving so fast? Low time. Now there's a lot of them. Obviously, in a situation like this, you're gonna be heavily relying on the other plants. <laughs> yeah, it's man, it's it's tough. But the the electric pea shooter is just doing a great job at. at at, at destroying these zombies that unfortunately the boomberry is not really doing a lot on its own but you can see look they're they're all attacking the fisherman zombies right now and only the fisherman zombies and we got them we got them and we got them before we got the gargantuar so that's the benefit of attacking just the things in the back now thankfully the electric pea shooter was able to take out that imp but there you go so, this is about as good as I can do as a showcase of the Boomberry. Uh, I think that this is going to be end up being a strong plant. Just based on what I've seen already, this is going to be end up being a strong plant, especially once I level it up some. Um, of course, it's always hard to compare because my memory isn't that great. But I assure you, I'm pretty confident that once this is leveled up, it's going to be a powerhouse. It just decimates the zombie backline. So, I'll see you next time for more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and wanna help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.